What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another discussion video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Halo Infinite delay and oh my god, that actually hurts to say. And that that, that rhymed I, unrelated. But again, this is a Halo Infinite discussion video. If you're new around here, I answer all comments so we can have a discussion in the comment section below. So if you want to chime in with your thoughts about the Halo Infinite delay, feel free to do so in the comment section below. And again, if you are new around here, I do videos like this every day, discussion videos on video game topics. So hit that subscribe button. Also do less plays and play a ton of Pokemon, but that's beside the point. If you enjoy the vibes, hit the subscribe button. And let's just jump straight into it because this is a lot halo infinite has officially been delayed out of 2020 into 2021 and again like i said it, it does hurt to say because halo infinite has been my most anticipated game for 2020 and to me that's not even an xbox playstation thing you know obviously the series x halo infinite to me was one in the same the reason why i wanted to get a series x at launch was to play halo infinite to have the best experience playing that game and it it kind of puts me in this muddy water now where i'm like do i just wait for halo to come out and get the series x or you know and just focus all of my thoughts all of my attention on sony but again, I'm not trying to make this a Sony Xbox thing. What I'm trying to do is just make sure that, you know, I'm a father too. I can't be going out and spending $1,000 on video game consoles this holiday. So I had to budget them accordingly and get, you know, what's best suited for me to make these content, to make my videos, but then also, you know, not go broke. That's besides the point. It, it, it really hurts. It really sucks because there's nothing on the... Again, I'm, I'm making this a PlayStation 5 versus Xbox thing, and I don't want to. There's nothing on the PS5 that was making me grab it at launch either. It's kind of a weird topic to even bring that up. But again, this is just my raw thoughts. I just literally just read the press release, and I'm going to read it now for you guys. And the, the news just literally broke. So, like, my brain right now is, like, scatterbug, so excuse me on that. But again, if you are a Halo fan, you know the feeling. It's like... It hurts, but this is probably the best. And this is coming from Chris Lee, the studio head at Halo Infinite. He said this today in the press release. It says, today, I want to share an important Halo Infinite development update with the community. We had made the... the, the <laughs> it sucks to say. It sucks to say. We had made the difficult decision to shift our release to 2021 to ensure the team has adequate time to deliver a Halo game experience that meets our vision. The decision to shift our release is the result of multiple factors that have contributed to the development challenges, including the outgoing related impacts affecting us all all this year i want to acknowledge the hard work from our team at 343 industries shout outs to the team at 343 um hats off to you guys i i, I can't wait to play this game it, this is an unfortunate speed bump on the road but it's just a speed bump you can just drive past it and you know we're gonna move on from this um but again it definitely hurts it says who has remained committed to making a great game and finding solutions to development challenges. However, it's not suitable for the well-being of our team or overall success of the game to ship it this holiday. And again, that's a great call. They don't want to go into crunch, especially while everyone's at home. I, like, who knows what that would actually mean. People will probably be working 24 hours a day just to, you know, get their vision of what this Halo game is in the game. And, you know, that working at home environment, it's probably worse for crunch workers. And they don't want to do that today, workers. And to be honest, 343 doesn't deserve to be working on the conditions like that. And I don't know if they're going to wait till they could reopen, maybe, or reopen lightly and have a couple of people come over the studios slowly at a time and work in house. Because I'm, there, there's nothing that beats in house game development. I think working from home must suck, especially on a big AAA game where there's a ton of moving parts and tons of stuff. There's tons of people working on tons of things at a time, and it must suck doing all the talking and, you know, discussion, 
via Google Chrome, you know, on a chat screen. It says, we know this will be disappointing to many of you and we share in that sentiment. The passion and support the community has shown over the years have been incredible and inspiring. We wanted nothing more than to play our game with the community this holiday. The extra time will let us finish critical work necessary to deliver the most ambitious Halo game ever at the quality we know our fans expect. Thank you for your support and understanding, Chris Lee, studio head, Halo Infinite. And again, it's just it, it's it's super hurtful to even like to think about the negatives of this. We shouldn't be thinking about the pop the the positives. The game is gonna I'm gonna just say it is probably gonna look better <laughs> coming out of that initial gameplay reveal. The a lot of talk was like, hey, you know, the graphics look bad. It doesn't look next gen. And I was right there with you guys. And I was like, you know, this is probably an early build of the game. They're showing it looking like this because it does look fun. And it did look fun. I can't wait because it does look fun. Granted, I knew once I had it in a Xbox Series X and all the bells and whistles was done, everything was graphics on the max, it would probably had looked better. But again, to me, the graphics wasn't the biggest issue. And I don't think they're delaying the game just to make the game look pretty. I think there is stuff behind the scenes, probably with multiplayer, because they have yet to reveal the multiplayer. And that was a big thing. There was a rumor going around that they were like, hey, you know, multiplayer won't be around that launch. And then everybody was like at the, you know, 343 and at Microsoft there. It was like, nah, it's going to be at launch. That's that's a bad rumor. Don't believe it. This you know, delay is kind of like pushing back up on that rumor. Like maybe there was issues on the multiplayer side of things and they needed more on hands in studio, hands on with the game. And they can't do that from a work to home, you know what I'm saying? Environment. They need to be in the studio working on the game and they can't because of everything that's going on in the world right now. So it that 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 just sucks. That's 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 a wrench that nobody was expecting this year. I could understand. I could understand this delay. It just hurts so bad because again, if you watch my reactions to Halo Infinite, like I literally cried <laughs> watching the um the the trailers and stuff like that. And it, it it's just because Halo has helped me through a lot of my hardest, you know, darkest times in my life. So I do want to see the game get through this, be the best it could be. And as a fan, I'm willing to let them work as long as they need to ensure that this is what they want to deliver as a Halo game. Again, this is just my first thoughts, my first reactions to the Halo Infinite delay. It sucks, but you know, 343, I'm pretty sure they know what they're doing. They want to deliver the best Halo game ever and in order for them to do that they need to delay it and that's the smart move and i'm glad microsoft is giving them the opportunity to do so and not just saying no we need to sell you know consoles get it out the door and i'm glad that's the case and i'm glad they didn't do halo infinite beta you know what i'm saying in the first couple of months it'll be in beta just to get it out the door again and sell consoles I don't think that would have been a great play as well. It just sucks. You know what I'm saying? It leaves me in like monkey water just because, you know, this was my big, most anticipated game this year. I'm not hugely excited about Cyberpunk. I'm not hugely excited about Avengers. You know, I, I, I'm hugely excited about Call of Duty. But again, that's for other reasons. But, you know, Halo has a, a soft spot in my heart and I just... Oh, God, it just it hurts to even think about, you know, what the team is going through right now, having to come out and say, hey, we got to push this back, not being there for Microsoft at launch of the brand new console. It, it, it sucks for them. And granted, they're, they're getting more time and I can't wait to see the game. I can't wait to see multiplayer. I can't wait to see what is the end result of them delaying this. Hats off to 343. Let me know what you think, again, in the comment section below. What do you think is the main issue or the main reason for the delay? Granted, they did state their reasons, but, you know, 
us as a community, we're going to take this, pick it apart, you know, read between the lines and come up with our own thoughts and theories. Let me know yours in the comment section below. If you don't know, this is a discussion video. I'm going to answer each and every one of you guys in the comment section below so we can have that conversation down there. And then if you are new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day talking about video games and uh, as you can hear me i'm losing my voice because oh god this one hurts this this does hurt if you made it to the end of the video consider hitting a like on the video um it does help me move the video into recommended so other people can check it out and you know also jump into the conversation peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one and bro boy 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 this is this is something Thank you, thank you, thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to. Join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it can be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok, or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my twitter also on all of my videos i do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below i take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and i love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest i am a variety channel i do tons of stuff tons of pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one